of peer assessment the student will able to know the concept of self assessment the student will able to know the meaning of self assessment the student will able to know the advantages of self assessment the student will able to know the drawbacks of self assessment these are some learning objectives of our today's topic now we will start peer assessment involves student taking responsibility for assessing the work of their peers against ses assessment criteria now what is that first we will explain what is peer assessment now peer assessment is the assessment of student by the other student for example the work of bharti will be evaluated by avni that is called peer assessment now assessment means the evaluation now what is the other thing which will will, will focus on this definition on on this uh, is the assessment criteria now what do you mean by assessment criteria assessment criteria is related to learning outcomes or specific criteria related to a topic or a content against which a piece of work will be assessed or evaluated this criteria should be shared with the peer group who are assessing we have to share that criteria with the peer group who are assessing then only they will able to assess the work of their peer in an efficient and effective manner now what is a criteria criteria is a principle or standard by which we judge something on the basis of that principle on on the basis of that standard we judge something is a criteria so what we are saying that peer in uh, assessment when we are talking about the peer assessment it involves the assessment of work by other students first thing second thing we have to share the assessment criteria with the peer members of other group now peer assessment is a group activity that allows student to evaluate the work of their peers now what is that in peer assessment what what will be done that the work of the other students will be evaluated by their peer groups members now peer assessment take the attention from the teacher and puts the student at the center of the classroom when we are talking about the peer assessment then the work of a teacher is just to guide and facilitate the learners and whole soul responsibility of the teaching learning process is with the students as they are actively participated in the teaching learning process they are not just passive listeners they can therefore be engaged in providing feedback to their peers now after assessment after the evaluation the peers will give the feedback to the other students sometimes referred to as peer review summative grades or a combination of the two now what they are saying that providing feedback to their peers now what they mean that they will provide some feedback to their peer group members now something referred to as peer review now that type of feedback is sometimes called as a peer review now what do you mean by the peer review peer review is the evaluation of work by one or more person people with similar abilities to improve the quality of work means if bharti is giving feedback to avni now what will be the purpose of giving that feedback that avni should improve there should be the improvement or there should be improvement of work there should be improvement in the quality of work which was given by avni summative grade now summative grade to st evaluate students learning at the end of a unit is called a summative grade or a combination of two means we can take some grades summative test also and we can give a peer review to the uh, students or the group members of that peer also it is a powerful way for students to act as a advisor why it is a powerful way to for students because they are actively involved in the teaching learning process they are just not the passive listeners and to gain 
and opportunity to better understand assessment criteria now i have already told you that this is the assessment criteria and that should be shared with the peer members who are evaluating the work of their peer friends or the group and to gain an opportunity to better understand now when they are actively involved in that process then they will understand better that this is the assessment criteria and on the basis of this assessment criteria i have to evaluate the work of other people or the other members of the peer group now it can also transform some ownership now it can also transform means the peer assessment can also transfer some ownership ownership means possession of the assessment why because now they students are actively involved in the assessment process they are understanding the criteria of assessment process so the position of assessment process will be can be transferred to the students also assessment process to them thereby potentially increase their motivation and engagement in doing so student might be encouraged to learn more deeply their understanding will increase building up their understanding rather than just their knowledge of the facts as well as gaining an insight into their own approach to an assessment task in comparison to their peers this make peer assessment an important component of assessment for learning rather than simply a means of measuring performance now what they have saying that it is not uh, necessary that a peer assessment is related only to the assessment only assessment for learning only no rather than simply a measuring performance that is not only a instrument of measuring performance how i had performed but it is an important component of assessment for learning how much i have learned how much i have gained the knowledge on that particular topic or content now peer assessment is particularly useful in aiding your students to develop judgmental skills now what they are saying that but peer assessment helps in what helps your students in developing what judgmental skills now judgmental skills is related to uh, uh, developing an opinion on objective base means your opinion cannot be subjective for example bharti is uh is a good friend of avni now a peer assessment will arrive now bharti have to judge that uh, assessment of uh, avni on the basis of objectivity means the opinion of bharti should be objective it cannot be subjective benefits of peer assessment includes first students develop 21st century skills such as reflection critical thinking communication and listening now what do you mean by reflection by reflection we means reflecting on something reflection means analyzing any concept you are in the focus of analyzing a concept critical thinking is the intellectual process of actively and skillfully applying that concept communication how you are communicating with other person listening what others are saying students are actively engaged in learning means they are not just passive uh, listeners only they are actively involved in the teaching learning process and this may enhance learning and when they are actively involved in the teaching learning process this will definitely increase their learning the student may be more willing to listen to feedback from peers than from their teachers now what they are saying sometimes students want that their teacher should not say anything to them they are happy to listen feedback from their peers so peer assessment works in that field also now drawbacks of the peer assessment what are the drawbacks or we can say the limitations of peer assessment peer assessment may be time consuming for student by time consuming that they have to give extra time to understand what is the criteria of assessing that particular work difficult for learners who are struggling academically it is not suitable for those learners who are struggling academically means those who are not uh, 
actively involved in the teaching learning process or we can say those who are a below average intelligent students they have some problems difficulty in assessing the work of their peer group unenjoyable for some students they think why should i assess the assessment work of other group members of my friends used to grade some students unfairly it means that uh, i am uh, not having a good relationship with that students then i will assess that co copy or the assessment work will be unfair the teacher can minimize the weaknesses by now the teacher can em employ some things some factors to make or minimize the weaknesses of peer assessment training students how to evaluate a piece of work means the teacher will make them understand the criteria of assessment and also in skills of communicating and listening that you have to you can work on the skills of communication how to communicate with other people and listening you have to increase the skill of listening what others are saying use a checklist that clearly outline what students are to look for when marking work means a checklist can be prepared by a teacher and that checklist can be given by the teacher to the student that these are the outlines that you have to look when you are marking the work of your peer assist group members monitoring students during lessons so meaningful feedback can be given you have to monitor how they are actively involved in the teaching learning process and on that basis only you can give them a meaningful feedback self assessment requires students to reflect on their own work now the second concept which we are going to discuss is the self assessment now in the peer assessment what we have learned that in that work the assessment will be done by your other student and the, that student will give you the feedback but in the self assessment the assessment will be done by myself only and the, that self assessment enhances the learning improve the quality of learning self assessment requires student to reflect on their own work means they are reflecting how they have performed their particular work and judge how well they have performed in relation to the assessment criteria now what is that that assessment criteria the teacher has to explain them also that this is the assessment criteria and you have to judge your performance on the basis of that assessment criteria only now what you will do you will first you will reflect on your own work and second thing you will decide how you have performed in relation to the assessment criteria the focus is not necessarily on having students generate their own grades we are not focusing that the students will generate their own grades no we are focusing on improvement and bringing quality in the teaching learning process to make their learning more efficient the focus is not necessarily on having students generate their own grades but rather providing opportunities for them to be able to identify what constitute a good or poor piece of work now how will they will identify that this piece of work is good or poor on the basis of assessment criteria they will judge whether they have the teachers are giving them opportunities so that they can constitute that this is a good piece of work and this is a poor piece of work on the basis of assessment criteria which uh, will be shared by the teacher to them some degree of student involvement in the development and comprehension of assessment criteria in the development means they are involved in the process of developing that this will be the assessment criteria and comprehension of assessment criteria means understanding we have to make that uh, uh, make them understand that this is the assessment criteria and you have to judge your performance on the basis of that assessment criteria only 
is therefore an important component of self assessment and that's why then only it will become an important component of self assessment when we involve the students in the development and make them understand that this is the criteria of assessment now reflection is the key of self assessment Developing reflective skills provides students with the ability to consider their own performance. Now they can consider that this is my performance. Now reflection means reflection means analyzing your own experiences to improve the way of working. Means you are analyzing your own work and why you are analyzing your own work so that improvement can be done. Developing reflective skills provides students with the ability to consider their own performance. They will consider that this is my performance and they will work to improve their performance. They will work on improving their performances and to identify their strength. They will able to know that these are my strengths. Weaknesses on these points, I have to work little harder and areas that require improvement. And these are the areas which require improvement from my side. Students can then to use this knowledge to influence their future work. Now, when they are reflecting, means they are analyzing their own piece of work. And when they are analyzing, it will bring improvement in their work and why they are analyzing so that improvement can be done in their work and when they are analyzing and thinking that in this way we can improve our work that that definitely influence their future work whether on a program of study or in employment it can be in the uh, work of study when you are studying something or when you are being employed somewhere by playing to their strength and or directing their efforts in the area they have already recognized as needing further improvement now playing to their strength they will able to know these are my strengths these are my weaknesses and uh, they will focus that they will have to play on their strength they don't have to play on their weaknesses a uh, strength and of directing their efforts in area they have already recognized as needing further improvement self assessment as a teaching and learning exercise means it's a teaching and learning exercises means it is to we are involved in the teaching learning process as much as an assessment it is not only an assessment criteria or it is uh, we are saying that self assessment is also a teaching learning process or teaching and learning exercises uh, as much as assessment method and its inclusion inclusion we are including that means we are not uh, focusing on assessment method only in self assessment but we are also focusing on teaching and learning process with a course provides students with an opportunity to develop a core lifelong learning skills when they are habit of doing assessing your their works this gives them the opportunity to develop a core lifelong learning skills lifelong learning skills will be developed in the learner or the student now what are the advantages of self assessment why a teacher should uh, use self assessment in their classes encourage students involvement it will encourage students involvement means the students are actively participating and responsibility students to reflect on their roles now it will reflect the student that this is my responsibility and i have to reflect on their roles this is my role and contribution to the process of the group second focus on the students the, on the development of student judgmental skills now what are the judgmental skills that they will able to look at their own piece of work in an subjective objective manner they cannot be subjective they cannot be biased that this is my work i have to be subjective while giving the grades no focus on the development of student judgment skills we are helping them to develop their judgmental skills means analyzing something that they will analyze that i have done this work on the basis of that criteria uh, i have to look my work on the basis of my objectivity 
students are involved in the process means they are involved in the teaching learning process and are encouraged to take part ownership of their process and we are encouraging them to take the position of that part of their process provides more relevant feedback to students as they generated by their peers now what they are saying that that uh, when we are talking about the self assessment it will give them relevant feedback might be they are not they don't like to get the feedback from their peer groups which they have generated so it's uh, the, when we are using the self assessment method or device for assessment is provide more relevant feedback to the students now what are the disadvantages limitations or the shortcomings of self assessment additional briefing time can increase a lecture lecturer workload now what will happen when a teacher will make them understand that this is the criteria of assessing your work evaluating your work it increases the workload of a lecturer this process has a degree of risk with respect to reliability of grades what do you mean by that what uh, what will increase it's increase the degree of risk with re respect to reliability we cannot rely on the grades which will be given by that person to himself herself only as peer pressure to apply elevated grades of friendship may influence the assessment what they are getting and that may influence the assessment process though this can be reduced if students can submit their assessment independent of the group and this can be uh, reduced if we are submitting our assessment independent of the group now uh, we will discuss both peer and self assessment in a uh, combined manner what will be the concept of peer and self assessment how they are uh, same on some characteristics how they are differ from each other on some characteristics now peer and self assessment where student assess each other and then self now what they are saying where student assess means students are evaluating each other when we are using that i will be assessed by my other peer member or group member and then self when i am assessing my performance can encourage students to take greater responsibility for their learning means that self assessment and peer assessment what will uh, encourage in that it will encourage in the students to take greater responsibility for their learning means they are involved more in the teaching learning process for example by encouraging engagement with assessment criteria means they will involved in the process of making the assessment criteria and reflection of their own performance and that of their peers how how they have performed on a particular task and how their peer members have performed on a particular task through this students can learn from their previous mistakes now we what is the main objective of self assessment is to improve the quality of learning now what will happen they will learn from their previous mistake why they are able to learn from their previous mistakes as they are analyzing their own teaching learning on on their own teaching learning process they are reflecting on the teaching learning process means they are analyzing their experiences there to improve the way of learning that's why they are able to make to learn from their previous mistakes mistakes which have they done in the earlier times identify their strengths they will able to know that these are my strengths and weaknesses these are my weaknesses on which i have to work and learn to target their learning accordingly when i am able to know that these are my strengths these are my uh, weaknesses i i will target my learning according to my strength and my weaknesses getting students to become more active in their learning yes that's important and when we are talking about the self assessment and peer assessment they are actively involved in the teaching learning process in the learning process and what it makes they they are will not be only passive listeners they are 
just involved in all the activities in this way can have to alter the perception of learning now when they are involved actively involved in the learning process then what will happen we, uh, in this way means by using self assessment and peer assessment will help to alter the perception of learning now what is the perception of learning that students are just passive listeners but when we are using the self assessment and peer assessment what will happen the perception of learning will be changed the learners will become active as being as passive process where by student listen to you where they are just sit quietly and listen what the teachers are saying listen to you and observe the information in order to repeat during a subsequent assignment and they just listen to what uh, the teacher is saying and in the way that they can they take this information and they can repeat that information when any assignment will be assigned to them if students are participants rather than spectators now participants means they are involved in the teaching learning process spectators just listening what is going on they are more likely to engage with their learning means when they are participants means they are more engaged in the teaching learning process and they are not just passive listeners and just a spectators looking what is going on peer and self assessment also gives student a sense of all the things to consider when setting up and marking work means it's also give a sense of responsibilities to the students when we are discussing the peer and self assessment on the basis of the things that they have to consider when setting and marking work thus helping them to be more know about academic standard and assessment criteria and when they are involved in that then uh, it will help them to be more about academic standard that this is the benchmark which we have to attain and this is the assessment criteria this enables students to better ass understand assessment expectations what we expect them from the assessment process and work towards improving their own performance and they will able to know that these are my weaknesses these are my strengths and they will work in improving their own performances to improve their performances in such a way that they will get higher grades next time in the future getting students more actively involved in their assessment can make assessment itself a means by which they can learn and develop means when they are involved in the assessment process it will help them uh, it will work as a means by which they can learn new things and develop new concepts to achieve peer and self assessment it is essential it is essential it is important that assessment criteria are clearly and fully described and this is the responsibility of the teacher to make them understand uh, to make them comprehension uh, that this is the assessment criteria and on the basis of this assessment criteria you have to evaluate your sheet as well as the sheets of your peer group members and fully describe so that students are able to understand exactly what is expected of them means if we are not able to make them understand the assessment criteria then we are not able to make them students understand what exactly what is expected uh, by us to them that we expect these things from you means we have to make them understand that exactly what is expected from them and this can only be done when they we as a teacher make them understand that this is the assessment criteria taking this a step further and allowing students to contribute to the assessment criteria now what they are saying that we can take a step further and we can involve them in uh, in the process of assessment criteria making when we are constructing the, that this these will be the criteria of assessment process we can take a step further and give them ownership to the student now you can decide what will be the criteria, assessment criteria can be taking this a step further 
and allowing student to contribute to the assessment criteria means they are helping the teachers in developing the assessment criteria can serve to transfer ownership to the student and when they are involved in developing the assessment criteria it will transfer position to the students foster deeper engagement with the assessment and their learning and it will increase their learning as well as the uh, they will able to know that this is the assessment criteria now these are the uh, some references today uh, uh, today we have learned about uh, the concept of peer assessment and self assessment now in this uh, we have understood about the concept of self assessment and peer assessment by we have said that peer assessment is that where assessment uh, will be done by other group members or other students in the same way we are saying that but for further readings uh, for further readings on that today's topic that is self assessment and peer assessment you can refer these references now now let us discuss some mcqs based on the topic we have discussed today the top uh, the self assessment and peer assessment as mcqs are the best tools to measure the most important educational outcomes for that we have with us uh, we have discussing we will discuss some mcqs the first one is dash involve students taking responsibility for assessing the work of their peers against set assessment criteria what will be the answer the a option will is peer assessment b is self assessment c is both peer and self assessment d is neither peer assessment or the self assessment now the correct answer is yes students the correct answer is peer assessment now the option a now what why peer assessment because in peer assessment students are taking responsibility for evaluating the work of their friends against set assessment criteria the set assessment criteria will be shared by the teachers with them now the next who stated that peer assessment is a group activity that allows student to evaluate the work of their peers means peer assessment uh, allows the students to evaluate the work of their peers who has given this definition a option black b backen c aristotle or the d johnson now the correct answer is a the uh, the correct answer is a who has given this definition the this definition is given by black dash take the attention from the teacher means teacher is not actively participating now and puts the student at the center of the classroom means now the students are actively participated in that process now the a option is peer assessment b self assessment c both peer assessment and self assessment d neither peer assessment nor self assessment now the correct answer is a the peer assessment now in peer assessment students are actively participated in the teaching learning process and the teacher role is just to guide them and to facilitate them and to make them understand the criteria of assessment on which they have to work now the fourth one self assessment engage in providing dash to their peers a feedback b engagement c development d all the above given choices now the correct answer is a now self uh, assessment engage in providing feedback to their peers means after evaluating the peer assessment you will give some feedback to their peer group members now the fifth one dash is useful in aiding your students now dash is useful in aiding means helping your students to develop judgmental skills critical abilities and self awareness now which is helping your students to develop these skills the first one is a peer assessment b self assessment c both 
self assessment and peer assessment d neither peer assessment nor the uh, self assessment now the correct option is peer assessment means peer assessment is helping our students to develop judgmental skills critical thinking abilities and self awareness now the sixth one dash requires students to reflect on their own work and judge how well they have performed in relation to the assessment criteria means they will reflect they will judge their work on the basis of assessment criteria shared by uh, shared by their teachers with them now the first option is peer assessment b self assessment c peer and self assessment d neither peer assessment nor self assessment now the correct answer is self assessment means self assessment uh, gives required students to reflect on their own work they will analyze their own work and on the basis of their analysis on the basis of the experiences they will improve their work performance for the future now the seventh one dash providing opportunities for learning learners to be able to identify what constitute a good or peer poor piece of work now the a one is peer assessment b is self assessment c both a and b d neither a nor b neither a means neither peer assessment nor uh, self assessment now which who is giving opportunity to for learners and this is self assessment is giving opportunity for learners to able to identify what uh, constitute a good or poor piece of work and how they will constitute that it will be a good work or it will be a, a poor work on the basis of the assessment criteria which will be shared by uh, them with the teachers the teachers will share them that this is the assessment criteria or on the basis of that they will constitute that this is a good or this is a poor piece of work now the next one the development and comprehension comprehension means understanding of assessment criteria is an important right component of dash peer assessment a option b self assessment c both peer assessment and self assessment d neither peer assessment nor self assessment now the correct answer is b so what we are saying the development and comprehension of assessment criteria is an important component of self assessment now next self assessment help in providing dash skills now self assessment help in providing dash skills what type of skills uh, will be developed with the help of self assessment the first one is reflective skills b in reflective skills c both reflective and in reflective skills d neither reflective skills nor in reflective skills what type of skills will be developed when the teacher is using self assessment as a device of assessment in their classrooms now the correct answer is a means reflective skills will be developed in the students when the teacher is using a self assessment technique in their classrooms during the teaching learning process now the next one self assessment as a teaching and learning exercise as much as an assessment method and its inclusion now self assessment as a teaching and learning exercise means teaching and learning both are uh, doing in self assessment as much as assessment method and its inclusion means we are not only assessing it but we also Uh, helping the students to learn now is this a true statement or the b option it's a false statement now the correct answer is a means it's a 
true statement now uh, students with partic uh, with this particular narration you understand the concept of self assessment and the concept of peer assessment now we have discussed that uh, peer assessment is related to the assessment of work done by the students of other students now when we are saying that this is a self assessment criteria we are saying that a student will learn this analyzing the work will reflect on their own work to improve the quality of their work now uh, they have to judge their or evaluate their work on the basis of self assessment criteria and we have said that the self assessment criteria is related to the learning outcomes of or specific criteria related to any topic or content uh, against which a piece of work will be assessed and the this uh, assessment criteria should be shared by the teacher when he is so that students can make assessment in a better way now uh, or we can say in self assessment and peer statements make the learner active in the learning process they are not any more just passive listeners so in the next class we will discuss or we will focus on different assessment devices other than self assessment and peer assessment thank you so much